Suppose we have a fraction 1 over 3, right? 1 divided by 3. If this is our fraction, now if I ask you that what will be the reciprocal of this 1 over 3? So the reciprocal of this 1 over 3 of this particular fraction will be what's the denominator in this case? That is 3. So the denominator in this, in this case is 3. Therefore, this denominator in the reciprocal of this fraction will be the numerator. Then divided by what's the numerator in this one? It's 1. Therefore, the numerator of this particular fraction will be the denominator of the reciprocal of this fraction. It means that if this is 1 by 3, then the reciprocal of this number will be 3 by or 1. That is simply reverse the position of 1 and 3. And one more important thing. If you multiply the fraction and the reciprocal of that fraction, if you multiply it, you can clearly see that in this case this is 1 times 3 and this is 3 times 1. This will be 3 or 3. There it is 1. So remember this. The a fraction and the multiplication of that fraction with its reciprocal gave us 1. Let's take another example. Let's say we have 2 or 5. So in this case, the reciprocal of 2 or 5 will be, what's the denominator in this case? It's 5. So make it the numerator of this fraction, the reciprocal, and this is the numerator, make it denominator. So the reciprocal of 2 or 5 will be 5 over 2. And if you multiply this fraction with its reciprocal, then you'll get 2 times 5 divided by 5 times 2. This will be 10 or 10, that is 1. Therefore, once again, you got this number 1 when you multiply a fraction with its reciprocal. So, the reciprocal is the inverse of any fraction where the denominator of that fraction becomes the numerator and the numerator of that fraction becomes the denominator in the reciprocal. And if you multiply that fraction with its reciprocal, then always, always, always you'll get number 1. Okay, let's take a few more examples. Let's say we have the fraction, what we can take? Uh, 7 or 9. Therefore, the reciprocal of 7 or 9 will be the denominator is 9. So make it the numerator divided by the numerator is 7. Therefore, make it denominator in this case. Now, 7 or 9 and 9 or 7, right? So if you multiply these, then you'll get 7 times 9 and then 9 times 7. This will be 63 and this will be 63 equals to 1. If I ask you what would be the reciprocal of 2? Now we know that any number, any number, be it 7, be it 8, be it 9, can be written in the form of a fraction. And what all you have to do is simply divide that number by 1, divide that number by 1, divide that number by 1, in this case also by 1. It means that you can write any number in the form of a fraction by simply dividing that number by 1. Now you can clearly see that this is in the form of a fraction, right? So 2 divided by 1, right? So 2 divided by 1 means what? 2 divided by 1 means that this is a, a fraction number now. And if you have to write the reciprocal of 2 over 1, that will be the numerator, the, the denominator in this case is 1, so it will become numerator in the reciprocal and the numerator in uh, this fraction is 2 therefore in the reciprocal it will become 2. So of any number 2 that can be written in the form of 2 divided by 1 the reciprocal of that number will be 1 by 2 and if you even in this case if you multiply you will get 2 times 1 is 
uh, 1 and 1 times 2 and you will get here 2 divided by 2 that is 1. So again we got the number uh, 1 when you multiply a fraction with its reciprocal. Same thing for 7, for 8, for 9. If you have to write for reciprocal of 7, so simply write it at 7 divided by 1 and therefore the reciprocal will be 1 over 7. And even in this case if you multiply you will get 1. Even same thing for 8, for 9 or for n number.